for the most part, it comes down to your needs as far as cargo. The interiors are very much the same, but you can see this one's higher with more cargo in the rear. The Mazda 3, especially in the Select Sport, especially with the ceramic, is very, very beautiful. The powertrain is the same as far as power. They're both lightweight with over 30 MPG. Which one would you choose? Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jonathan Soul Sales and Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. And you see behind me two beautiful Mazdas, a Mazda 3 sedan and a Mazda CX-30 crossover. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna go outside, we're gonna go all the way around so that you can decide which one of these sedan or crossover is the right one for you. So let's jump in. Starting up front with this comparison, a few things I'm not going to specifically talk about. This one has the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated six speed transmission. They both do. The iActive Sense safety suite is the exact same. So we won't be talking about those things as far as the comparison, but more stripped down to which vehicle maybe has a little bit more comfort a little bit more cargo and the performance and fuel economy that you want these are both select sports however the sedan as the example here is the select sport only ceramic we can compare those two colors as platinum quartz versus ceramic but don't let that be a bearing on which of these two cars you choose more big picture so the CX-30, of course, is a crossover, sits up a little higher with eight inch ground clearance and uh, about four inches higher of a seat height. Uh, also, the styling is different because the crossover is gonna have the cladding on it for protection from rock chips and other uh, terrain or off-road elements. We do have an 18 inch alloy wheel, which is a um, unique design for the CX-30. And of course the Select Sport gives you the gloss black wheels, gloss black mirror caps, and a few other uh, goodies on the inside that we'll look at in just a minute. You do have LED lighting standard on both vehicles and a different grille design. Uh, this one more reminiscent of the uh, traditional Japanese samurai uh, armor. And then of course a big signature wing right here. Uh, as we go around to the side, you do have LED turn signals here, blind spot monitors with rear cross traffic. Yes, this one is the beautiful platinum quartz, but you can see just the soft body line as you can tell from that design. And of course we have the, the S curves in here, which you maybe can see better on the uh, other side. Roof rails are gonna be standard on the CX-30, so you can add crossbars and other um, requirements that you have to haul all of your goodies. As we look inside here, this is a kind of a connected, as you can see more on that door card, all the way around the dash. You do have the stitching on the dash and the door card here. Power windows and locks are standard, of course. Uh, this is a manual seat, a six-way manual, so you do have some adjustments here that you can turn. And then, of course, um, your seat height and uh, going back and forth there with the seat back. This one has a contrasted stitch pattern or uh, design, so a little bit uh, brighter. And the seat is a different design, but of course that leatherette seating and leather steering wheel. So a very comfortable um, design. All of the interior elements are the exact same, of course, as you go across um, all the uh, keys, buttons, and switches are the exact same on the Mazda 3 and the CX-30, including this design right here. So you do have a digital speedo available and uh, the big display. And this, of course, is your 8.8 inch um, infotainment right here. Day night mirror, hello. And as we go to the back seat, you have a little bit of differences, but let me show you this console first. So there's uh, USB-Cs are now standard and you have this armrest that will shift back and forth. Uh, cup holders up front, not really big cup holders, of course. 
uh, in the back seat, you do have rear air vents. And then of course, this fold down armrest with cup holders here, bottle holders in the door. Of course, a full latch system here, lower anchors, top tethers. And we'll see that as we look back here in the back. This is about uh, a little over 20 cubic feet of storage back here. You can see this one has the cargo mat as well and three position top tethers. Uh, these are 60-40 to fold down, give you a little bit more versatility as far as passengers or cargo. Uh, LED lights back here as well. And as I mentioned, this seat height is about four inches higher than the, um, I measured it earlier, it's about four inches higher than what we're gonna look at next door here on the Mazda 3. So this, again, is the Select Sport. You can see that it's a little bit lower to the ground uh, than, than you would expect in a crossover. This one has about a five and a half inch um, ground clearance. So about two and a half inches uh, difference there. And very sleek looking because on the sedan, you don't have the cladding. So it's more paint, whether you choose the ceramic, the platinum quartz, or any other color that this comes in. Uh, they're very beautiful. And I love the ceramic, of course. And here's the difference in that seat height, uh, which is about four inches. Same seat design, just different uh, stitch pattern. So on the Select Sport here, you have a darker stitch, uh, same leather wrap steering wheel, same displays and everything else up there. Of course, this is a different design and layout. You have more of a padded uh, console here and a more continuous uh, design. This one does slide back and open as well and USB-C's are still standard and the same restrictions on the cup holder there, but do have a dual automatic air conditioner on both. And here's uh, some of your other differences here about the same size as far as leg room, uh, but no rear AC vents in the sedan. You do have a fold down armrest, the same latch system, the same stitching uh, back here. And of course, uh, these doors and those doors are, uh, you can have child locks involved there if you want that. Uh, so no rear air on this model and the leg room is about the same, just lower, of course. As we look back here in the trunk, it's about seven cubic feet less uh, with the seat backs up. And of course, uh, still a, a very large uh, area and you can fold those seats down with these levers here to release uh, but not as much storage uh, space in the sedan little different style here as you can see this those headlights come out and more molded this one's more sleek uh, around on the tail lights which looks really good and the same kind of style more of a sleek look here same signature wing but of course as you look at the grill it's different and uh, as it comes down to um, drivability this one's front wheel drive this one's front wheel drive first with an all-wheel drive and uh, let's look at some of the specs these are the same engines with um, cylinder deactivation however this one gets 31 combined 37 highway uh, which is fantastic and the price comes in at 26,550, which you are a little bit of an upcharge on that ceramic paint. The CX30, 29 combined, 33 uh, highway, and this one is 28,430. So roughly $2,000 difference between these. Uh, part of that is the paint difference because Platinum Quartz doesn't add more. If this was a ceramic or another special paint, it would be closer to $2,400, $2,500 difference. So which one is best for you? The crossover that sits up a little higher, has a little bit more cargo, or the Mazda 3 sedan that has a sleeker look, better fuel economy, and less cargo? Comment down below with any questions on these or any other Mazdas, and I would always appreciate a subscribe for more Mazda info updates, in my opinion, and I can't wait to see you in one of these beautiful Mazdas.